something simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used black rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will.
ridiculous. Pope's grasping at straws. Why? If Hiss is a frequency, then why couldn't it vibrate molecules in order to alter human physiology? It would explain the hair loss. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. She wants us to crack Darling's personal logs? He'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is, authorizing that kind of data breach? She must think he's hiding something. And I agree. The HRAs alone are proof Darling knew more than he let on. Other species would verbalize the hiss resonance like human hosts do. that altered item making everyone drown themselves in the toilets. Trench contained that thing. And he's gone now. Did you see me take down one of those flying motherfuckers? Bullshit, you did. You want me to go to research? Haul it here for you to see? I'll do it. Doubt me again and I'll fucking do it. We should be out there. Those things are killing our buddies while we babysit the execs. You heard Marshall. We need to be smart about this. They've got control. The longer we sit here, the worse it's gonna get. I can't believe these suits lasted as long as they have. He's off. We're all in this together. Bullshit. I didn't see them fighting to retake the HRA lab. Rangers always get left to pick up management's shit. This is Wynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. 
I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable, unknowable, something worse. Altered items, we found many. They appeared mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. Reminder, this week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention.
some help here. Someone needs help over there. Sounds like there's a man down. I'm here. What happened to you? I uh, got in a little scrap. <sighs> Name's Horowitz. I... Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? Uh, a threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting, we weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. <sighs> I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Uh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Roop can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just use the motel cord there. It should get you into the clocks. Sorry. The threshold.
This Wells guy can't be far. Those must be the clocks he was talking about. Are you Wells? Your friend asked me to come looking for you. That must be Horowitz. Glad he got out. I stayed back to help the others. Did a shit job of it, clearly. You tried. That's enough. Horowitz needs your help now. How do we get out of here? We should head back through the threshold. We can look for other survivors as we go. We better hurry. Which way? Just follow the blood. Let's go. What's with the clocks? Threshold effect. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play in there got a hold of someone's old clock and started duplicating it. Now the office is abandoned and its clocks all the way down.
locked. Think you can find a way around? Let me see. So, you came down here for an altered item? The anchor, yeah. Langston said it'd be a simple item to treat. But the power of that thing had. I've never seen anything like it. That's O'Neill. Shit! And no one else got out. Safe room is where the Oladite had cornered us. We sealed the door on the way out. We couldn't let it get out into the bureau. I'll need to come deal with that altered item later. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. We locked it tight. Come on, we need to get back to Harwood's. When it was clear, we couldn't contain the altered item. Horowitz ordered a retreat. We got out, but Hiss were waiting for us. I took Horowitz to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job.
We're not far now. Motel court is on the other side of logistics. Horowitz should still be there. Let's go. Hold on. Something's wrong with him. Shit. Horowitz. He's okay. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. I hope it rots down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there.
August 4th, 1964, we discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him?
been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69! Get it? 69! I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it! Come on, you guys, it's funny! The employee manual offers a series of helpful actions to assist in mitigating a crisis. Would you like me to list them for you? No! What's your guy's deal? So many cell breaches. I guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> I'm funny. Can we provide any assistance at this time, sir? Only if you can reboot the cell door protocols without manually accessing them. Sir, we are not capable of completing that task. Please assign us a different task. Why are you talking like that? You know what? Never mind. I'll take care of it. Numerous cell breaches on every level. These hiss things are a bad influence on my collection. You guys didn't bring, like, checkers or anything, did you? Any active duty security personnel found engaging in non-sanctioned leisure activities will be relieved of duty pending review, sir. You could have just said no. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? Maintenance staff will repair any damaged systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a cat to feed. I told Salvador it was dangerous, but no. Why listen to Langston? I'm just a Panopticon supervisor. Oh, the sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. Sir, please remain wary of hostile entities as we continue to ensure your safety. Is the TV back in its box yet? There's no rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. 
Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them... Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives, knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent, because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk, until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Power might wreck this place before I find him.
Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it.
Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. the TV. Now I can find Dylan.
to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they're all the same. It's a hideous trap my every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you insane. Dylan, so close. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. 